Hey, what's up, family? This is Mia, and welcome to my humble abode. Today, I'm going to show you how I made a cozy bowl. So, let's begin. Okay, let's get started with the materials. You're going to need a cozy bowl template, two pieces of fabric, at least three-fourths to one yard, sewing thread, and cotton batting. So while searching for a new project, I came across these pretty cool templates on Amazon. They came in a pack of six, and I thought they would be pretty good for our project today. So the fabric I chose for this project really didn't have any rhyme or reason. I just wanted to use what I had in my current stash. And as usual, I always try to make sure my fabric is ironed and prepped and ready to go. So you're probably wondering why I recommended about a yard worth of fabric. Well, one, if you're trying to make multiple cozy bowls, but two, the templates, especially like the ones I had, they vary in size. They can go anywhere between, I think, four to eight inches all the way up to about 20, 25 inches. So I wanted to make sure you had enough just in case you wanted to make multiples and also the templates are going to ask that you cut about 20 inches or whatever that template size is to make sure you have a perfect square so once you determine the size and the template piece you're going to have to repeat that process for both fabrics and the batting After the fabric is prepped, now it's time to prepare it for cutting. To take care of multiple layers at a time, I went ahead and folded it in half and then folded it in half again so that the template can lay on it properly. You want to make sure that you have the point of the template pointed towards the folded end of the fabric. So when you unfold it, it's all one big piece. Make sure to do this for both the fabric and the batting. Next it's time to create the layers. You have to take some batting and put one piece of batting on each side of the fabric. Afterwards, you take the batting and you pin it to the fabric so that you can sew it together. After everything is clipped, next we're going to take it to the sewing machine. After you're done, each piece should have batting attached. And for any excess fabric or batting, go ahead and just remove that so it won't bunch up once you try to sew everything together. So next we're about to sew the darts. This will help create the bowl shape. Once the bowls take shape, now it's time to sew both pieces of fabric together. This is done by turning both fabrics right side facing and pinning those together. Now you have to keep in mind that you still want a space that you don't sew because you want to be able to reverse the bowl once it's done. After everything is pinned and the space is left, now we move on to sewing. So once both pieces are sewn together, there's two things you gotta do. One, trim off the excess like before, and two, Put little cuts around the round parts of the fabric so that it can turn inside out easily and not be bulky. Once everything is sewn and excess is removed, now it's time to turn it inside out and to get the shape in order. 
So to help me make the shape, I would use like a cup or a bowl or something to kind of shape it out. After that, I will take some clips and pin it on the outside because what I want to do is do a final sew around the edge of the bowl so that the fabric can stay put. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to make a cozy bowl. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell to join the family. That being said, see you guys next time.